Dissimilation in phonetics, making sound differences clear. Hello everyone, and welcome to our lesson on dissimilation, a fascinating part of phonetics and phonology. In this video, we're going to discuss the process of dissimilation and how it plays a part in the way we pronounce words in English. Remember, understanding these phonological processes can help improve your pronunciation and accent skills. So, let's get started. So, what exactly is dissimilation? Dissimilation is a phonological process that changes a sound in a word to make it less similar to another sound. Think about it as an automatic sound change that your mouth makes to keep sounds distinct and clear. Let's take the word, February. Many English speakers pronounce it as, February u eri, not, February ru eri, a classic example of dissimilation. The R sounds were too close together, so our tongues got lazy and changed one to make them more distinct. To better understand dissimilation, let's look at more examples. 1. Fifth. Often pronounced as fifth. This is because having two F sounds so close together can be difficult to pronounce, so the second F sound often gets dropped. 2. Library. Sometimes pronounced as library. Here, the first R is replaced with an easier sound to make the word easier to say. 3. Particularly, sometimes pronounced as particularly, not particularly. This is a dissimilation of L sounds. As you can see, dissimilation often occurs when we have two similar sounds close together in a word. Now that you understand dissimilation, it's important to know that it doesn't only occur in English. In fact, it happens in many languages, and it's a natural part of how we simplify speech. Keep in mind, while we aim to pronounce words correctly, dissimilation processes might affect the way we speak naturally. That's okay. And that's it for today's lesson on dissimilation. We hope you found it helpful in understanding how and why we sometimes change sounds in words. Remember, while it's essential to strive for clear pronunciation, some processes like dissimilation are a natural part of speech. As you continue your English learning journey, be sure to listen for examples of dissimilation in everyday speech, and don't be too hard on yourself if you notice it in your own pronunciation. Until next time, keep practicing, and happy learning!